All right, everyone. Thanks for watching this. This is a group model shoot hosted at the Twin Cities Photography Group in St. Paul. Here we have our lovely model, Cassandra, and the great makeup artist, Aaliyah, working on getting the makeup ready for the shoot. They did a great job for this. And here we have me setting up. I'm sure everybody is just excited to watch a few minutes of me moving trees. I made these trees by taking dead branches off from a lilac bush that I have in my backyard. Finally motivated to do some trimming around the, around the house. I stuck them in small plastic containers filled with concrete and spray painted them uh, silver. And as you can see by the one in the middle there, I missed a couple spots. The idea was an uh, ice queen for this shoot. We had Cassandra in a gown we rented from the Twin Cities Theatrical Costume Company. Great place if you ever need wardrobe for a shoot. We started out with a white background on this, but eventually we put blue gels on the background lights which really gave it a pretty cool effect. Looks like I have a small spot on my sensor that needs to be cleaned up on the upper right hand corner. By the end of shooting in this bay, we had over six lights set up. The purpose of these group shoots is to give photographers an opportunity to work with a model and a makeup artist where all the arrangements are made ahead of time. Everything's provided. The photographer just needs to bring a camera and some ideas. It's also a lot of fun to work with other photographers to see what kind of ideas they have in mind as they go into these shoots. All right, here we go with a main light, a large octabox. Part of what I do for this is coordinate the model, the makeup artist, the studio, come up with ideas for lighting. But as the shoot actually flows through, other photographers had ideas on different lighting setups. We were able to try those out, really led to some interesting changes in lighting. Here we are with the finished product. We did add an ottoman in with a white sheet over it. Maybe it was a chair. There's the model working with one of the photographers. And there's one of the finished products. You can see we have the blue background there from the gel. All right, this is the second setting. This was more for just headshots. The idea is we wanted to get the model blowing snow towards the camera. I wanted a darker blue background, but we were able to accomplish that by pulling the lighting back away from the background. Up there we have a boom from the studio that we use for the beauty dish. Those really work great to get the pole away from 
the model so it's not in the frame. And a chair. You'll see these light stands that I have. The legs fold up instead of down, which makes them more compact for traveling. If you do any travel photography and you're looking for light stands, I highly suggest these. And next you'll see um, the modifiers, the 24 by 24 inch soft boxes. These collapse into a small disc, much like a reflector. They're one of my favorite modifiers for speed lights. They travel real well. As with any softbox, if you do order these, make sure you get them with the grids. Grids, for some reason, are almost as much as the actual softbox if you order them separately. And pretty soon, you'll see me put the I don't know what it's called, the mount, the mount on the back. That has a hot shoe mount to attach the speed light. And I've got a picture here of a different kind that I really like. It uses a clamp to clamp in the speed light. That makes it much easier to access the controls of the speed light. So if you're going to use, uh, if you're going to look at buying one of these, I highly suggest switching out the mounts. And there's the finished setup with our beautiful model, Cassandra. We use the white poster board, not just as a re reflector, but also to catch the snowflakes as they were being blown. And here's a headshot from that setting. And the next picture up is a model I had in er earlier that day for testing. And that was what we had in mind with the snowflakes. That one turned out really great. And here's one of the la uh, the third setting we have. We're using a single light with a grid on it as a spotlight and then we change the background color using different gels again with a background light. And there's my finished photo from that setting. I hope you all enjoyed this. If you're interested in learning more, the Twin Cities Photography Group has a bunch of events posted on their meetup page. You can also find more information about me at tsrphoto.com. I have a blog called tsrphotoblog.com. You can also follow me on Instagram, tsrphotos with an S, and on Twitter, tsrphoto. Thank you. <laughs>